It's the fourth day at the European RSX Windsurfing Championship, and it's been two days since our athletes last entered the waters. However, once again, the weather made things difficult. At midday, a light breeze finally came over the small city of Fushal. The first race was about to start. When things got on track, Gerarfalvi from Hungary had the best start with a few of the Brits on his tail. But it was Ober Emko who made the right choice at the first upwind and found himself leading at the first mark. On the other hand, the day found Mirazinski in a bad form. It didn't help that the light winds are not to his favor, so he found himself below the first 10. The second loop saw Kokolana still at the third spot, yet no improvement for Mirazinski. It didn't exactly look like a bad day for Poland, since his compatriot Mizka was leading the fleet, followed by Santos, just a few meters behind. But a race is not over till it's over. Just on the mark, Pastor and Nimrod sailed a shift, and now they were all together with Kokolanis just behind. The suspense was bound to last until the very end, especially as the Greek had not said his last word. At the right moment, he charged and overpassed others one by one. He finished fourth just in front of Nimrod and Zahar. This was a day for a lot of pumping. So after this race, time for a rest. Well, maybe having some good fun is the best way to relax. The second and final race of the day saw Mizka once more having the best start, but again, things didn't go his way. In the women's fleet, not many things changed. Alibo started in the middle, with Mayan at the race committee boat side. But they chose different sides at the first upwind. Really hard to predict who would round the first mark on top. The weather was shifty today, the winds too light. In the end, Manchon was second, perhaps because she chose the left side of the course and Alibo just a few meters behind. Alibo's on fire in this championship. Whether wins are light or medium, she finds a way, doing really well so far. After one tiring day, Mirazinski still leads the fleet, but no safe distance between him and other athletes. But in the women, Alibo's a clear leader. But so many things can still change. Tomorrow, we're expecting medium to strong winds. Stay tuned.